A stretch wire of length 80 cm and mass 12 g vibrates transversely. Waves travel along the wire at speed 220 m per second. Three anti nodes can be found in the stationary waves formed in between the two fixed ends of the wire. A. Sketch and label the waveform of the stationary wave. Okay, so uh, look at information given. Uh, this is uh, what case? We have three cases. Okay, we have three cases. We have string, closed pipe, and open pipe. So this one is stretch wire. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, you first must look at which case. This is uh, considered the string. Right, the string. Uh, so, okay, this is a string, and then uh, I give you the length. Uh, this is the length, and be careful with the unit. This is centimeter. Uh, you need to change to meter as a unit, and then this one uh, give you the mass of the string. Uh, this one in gram also you need to change to kilogram. Okay, to SI unit. So be careful. And then, uh, wave travel along the wire at this speed. Uh, so this is the speed of the wave okay, in the wire. Speed of the wave, V. Three empty nodes. Uh, here he say, three empty nodes are found in between the two fixed ends. So there are three empty nodes. So from here, we can know how to draw the uh, wave. Uh, three empty nodes, so we can know how to draw the wave of the stationary wave form in between the uh, two fixed ends of wire. So let us draw it now, yeah? So question A, uh, let us draw, yeah? Okay, so first of all, okay, you say uh, two fixed ends, huh? so we know wire has two fixed ends, isn't it? Uh, two fixed ends, so we can put uh, like this, yeah? this is the ends. Uh, two fixed ends. Uh, okay, we have three empty nodes in between. We have three empty nodes. That means uh, we have uh, one empty node, two empty node, three empty node in between. Okay. Now, all right, because he has two fixed ends, these two fixed ends cannot be empty node. Uh, for string, for string. Uh, the two fixed ends is always not uh, because it cannot vibrate. You see that? It, can, it always not. Empty node is uh, in between. Uh, the fixed end must be not. Okay? So it has two fixed ends. Let's draw the two fixed ends. Okay? So we know this one must be not. Uh, so the, end, the three empty nodes is in between the two nodes. So, okay. Uh, so better we uh, so how do how do we draw? Okay, how do we draw? So the three empty node. So we get no got three half lambda. Yeah? So how we divide? Uh, better we divide like this. Uh, this is a uh, node. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so this one I put this here another node. Yeah, here another node. Here another node. Okay. So maybe we can extend a little bit more. Okay, so uh, based on the uh, the boxes, uh, uh, so uh, this another note over here. Okay, uh, the two fixed end is uh, here lah. This is the fixed end. This is the two fixed end. Okay, two two fixed end. And then there are three empty nodes in between. So we can say uh, empty node is over here. Uh, this is the empty node. One empty node, two empty node, and three empty node. Okay? This. Okay, now we can draw already. We can draw it nicely. So uh, first I draw uh, like this. Okay. Okay, uh, let me draw it out. Uh, okay, so see, there are three empty nodes in between. Uh, three empty nodes. One empty node, two empty node, three empty node. Uh, uh, these are the empty nodes point. Uh, 
and this is the empty nodes point. Okay. Maximum amplitude at empty node. Okay. Maximum empty node at amplitude. Uh, maximum empty node. Uh, maximum amplitude at empty nodes. Okay. And then the two fixed end, they are node. Okay, so this is the uh, so we, we already sketch and label. Yeah, remember you must label. Uh? It asks you to label. Label that means you must label the nodes and empty nodes. Okay, node all the node and empty node you must label. Okay, at node it has zero amplitude. At empty node it has maximum amplitude. Uh, okay, so now. Uh, B. Determine uh, the wavelength of the progressive wave which uh, move along the wire. So, we, first of all, we need to find the wavelength. Okay. So, question B. We need to find the wavelength now. Uh, question B. Yeah? Okay. Let's find out the wavelength. So, we know that um, uh, we know about this. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah, all of us know about this one. Yeah? Uh, when we study about stationary wave or standing wave, we know about this. Uh, between the two nodes, there are half lambda. Between the two nodes are half lambda. Between nodes and empty nodes are one quarter lambda. Okay, maybe you can copy this. Okay, uh, put it over here. Okay, as reference. Uh, yep. Okay. Remember about this. Uh, between the two nodes is half lambda. Between node and empty node is one quarter lambda. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So okay, this is our reference. Okay, because you can see uh, the the whole wavelength. Uh, the whole wavelength is. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep. Okay. Can, you can see uh, this the whole one wavelength is from here up to here. Ah, this is one wavelength. Okay, from here to here, this is one wavelength. So between the two nodes is one is half wavelength. Between node and anti node is one quarter wavelength. Okay, so this is our reference. Okay. Now, uh, now question B, we need to find the wavelength of the progressive wave. Okay, so we are already given the wire, uh, which is uh, length 80 cm. Uh, so, so the whole length for this one, the whole length for this one is 80 centimeter. So we need to convert to meter, change to SI unit. So divide by 100, it is 0 0.8 meter divided by 100. Okay, this is from from here up to here ah the whole wire okay and also given the mass okay let, let's write it down also the mass of this whole wire is uh, 12 gram uh, so we need to change to kilogram also uh, that means uh, 12 uh, kilogram is uh, exponent 3 so this one becomes exponent negative 3 uh, because we add uh, prefix kilo okay exponent negative 3 kilogram okay so now we want to find the wavelength so the wavelength is uh, uh, is the wavelength uh, one uh, one wavelength is uh, from here up to here uh, you see this one from here the node to the second consecutive node is the one wavelength Ah, so from here we can see uh, between the node and node, between the node and node is half wavelength. Uh, half wavelength. So how many half wavelength do you have? We have uh, here we have um, uh, a half wavelength, here another half wavelength, and then here another half wavelength. Uh, from here, from this node to the next node is half wavelength. From node to node, half wavelength. From node to node, half wavelength. Uh, okay. 
this is half wave length, half wave length, half wave length. Ah, from um, let me call make it correction. Ah, okay. From node to node is half wave length, node to node half wave length, node to node half wave length. So, uh, for the total length ATCM is how many wave length? Uh, how many wave length? So we can say uh, we can put it like this. The length of the whole wire is actually three times, three times the half wave length. Ah, understand? The 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 whole wire is three three half, three times the half wave length. Ah, okay. This length is uh zero point eight meter, zero point eight meter. Uh, okay, this is in meter already. I already changed from centimeter to meter. Must always change to SI unit, huh? Remember the unit you must always change to SI. Okay, so uh uh so we got uh this is a three three half wave length, yeah. Uh three half wave length is 0 0.8 meter. So from here we can find the wave length. Uh the wave length is yeah, so you just cross multiply, multiply two and divide by three, and you get ah, uh, so I get the answer. Uh, it is uh, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 uh, 0 0.53 uh, meter. Okay, 0 0.53 meter, the wavelength. Is it correct, the answer? The answer is 553.33 centimeter. Uh, correct. This one is centimeter, uh, but in SI unit, it is 0 0.53 meter divided by 100. Okay, that's correct. Now, uh, this is for question uh, number 1. Yeah, B1. And then for question 2, what's the frequency then of the wire? Uh, frequency of the vibration of the wire. Let's do the question 2. Okay, so we know um, V equal to F lambda. Uh, v equal to F lambda. So it's already given the speed. Uh, the wave speed is 220 meter per second. Uh, so we put in the value of speed wave, wave, wave speed, and then the wavelength lambda. We can find the frequency. Okay. So what is the speed? Is 220. Uh, 220. And then uh, the wavelength is 0 0.53 meter. Okay. Uh, this one already all in SI unit. You see that speed is meter meter per second, and then the wavelength already changed to meter also. That's why I need to change to SI unit. Uh, you see that this one in SI unit meter. Uh, so make sure your 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 lambda also in meter. Uh, don't don't put that uh speed is uh, meter per second is in meter speed in meter, but the wavelength in centimeter. Ah, uh, then. Then the, the unit they are not tally, uh, you will get wrong answer for your frequency. Understand or not? Uh, so make sure you always change to SI unit first. From centimeter, change to meter first. Uh, then you got all the same unit. The speed is meter per second. Your lambda is also in meter. Uh, then you can safely put, yeah? Uh, yeah? The speed is in meter per second. It's, the speed is in meter. Uh, your lambda also in meter. Uh, same unit, then it is safe. Understand or not? Uh, 220 divided by 0 0.53. And what's the answer? Uh, I got this one is uh, my frequency. My frequency answer is uh, 415. 415.1 hertz. Uh, okay, 0.1 hertz. So is it correct? Yeah, the frequency is uh, 412 hertz. Uh, I got 415. Uh, why why you different a bit? Okay, but uh, it's correct. Okay, this answer is correct. Why a bit different? Because uh, this one, he uh, used uh, more accurate answer, centimeter 0.33. Uh, I already round up. If I change to meter, I already round up the answer for question 1. Okay, I already round up to 0 0.53 only. Okay, uh, I round up. So that's why I get a little bit different answer, but it's still correct. 
Yeah, because my answer here must always refer to what I get in question one. Uh, so my my question my answer is still correct because refer to the first question. Uh, okay. So it's still considered near to this value. Okay, so uh, question three. Let's find out the question three. Okay. Uh, question 3, the tension in the wire. So, for tension in the wire, this is the string case. Tension in the wire. Uh, remember about this. Uh, we learn uh, this one. Uh, so, for string, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, we have a formula that relates the tension. Yeah, uh, the speed of string is equal to square root tension over mass per unit length uh, mu mu is mass per unit length okay speed, speed of wave in the string is equal to square root tension over mu uh, use this formula okay so uh, tension in the string so we can use this formula v equal to square root sorry uh, square root tension over mu uh, what is mu mu is mass per unit length uh, we already given the mass, mass and the length. Uh, so just make use of the, the value. So find mu first. Mu is actually, uh, remember change to SI unit, kilogram, yeah? Uh, change, change all to SI unit. Change to kilogram, change to meter. Uh, change all to SI unit first. Okay. So, uh, my mass is uh, 12 exponent, uh, 12 exponent, negative 3 uh, in kilogram. And then my length, my length is uh, 0 0.8 meter, uh, 0 0.8 meter, all in SI unit. Okay, let's find out. Uh, 12 exponent, negative 3, okay, uh, and then divide by 0 0.8 meter. So, I got... Ah, this mu I got 0 0.015 um, kilogram per meter. Uh, that's mass per unit length. Mass per unit length. Kilogram per meter. Okay. So now, uh, so uh, my speed given uh, is already in SI unit meter per second. So 220. Use this value. Okay. Uh, my speed is uh, 220 meter per second already in SI unit. And then I need to find tension, isn't it? Tension in a string. Uh, so, okay, just now is frequency. Uh, now is tension. Okay, tension. Okay, so let's find out the tension. Just substitute all the values here. So the tension and then the mu uh, 0 0.015. Uh, also in SI unit. You see that? All in SI unit. Meter, second, kilogram, meter. All the all in SI unit. So later on my, my tension also in Newton. Uh, yeah. Also in Newton, which is also in SI unit. Uh, Newton is uh, actually kilogram uh, F equal to M A. Uh, uh, F equal to M A. Uh, M is kilogram. A is meter per second square. Uh, yeah. So all in SI unit, you see meter, second, kilogram, meter, this one also, newton, kilogram, meter, second. So all already in SI unit. I always change all to SI unit. So I can find my tension now. So my tension is equal to... Ah, so I got my answer already. Uh, my tension is 7, 2, 6, uh, newton. Ah. Is that correct? Yes, my tension is 726. 726. 726. Newton. That's all for this question. Okay? Uh, remember how to draw the wave. Yeah? Between the two nodes is half lambda. Okay?